Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to this card making project for Craft Stash. In this episode we're going to be looking at two different items that are both individual items, however you can use them together. The first is a set of nine sentiment stamps. Well, I'm saying there's nine, there's seven sentiments and two decorative elements on the sheet. All perfect for your Christmas stash. They'll work so well whether it's a snow scene, a nativity scene, um, a Christmas wreath or whether you're going to make something cute for Christmas. They're just seven fantastic sentiments that are a must have and I've really enjoyed using these. So that's our stamp set that we're going to use and then we're going to also use a set of nativity dies. Now this set of dies, it's three dies and it isn't just the nativity and I want to show you the dies actually because the nativity is the main die in the set however there's two um i don't know whether you'd call them um borders or mat and layers there's two more individual dies that go with it so you've got your main nativity set of your die which actually die cuts into your card without an outer edge and then you've got the outer edge that you use with the nativity die. Now this could be a great mat and layer as well. And then you've got a fancy edge as well that also goes with the set. And it's just a great little set to make fantastic Christmas cards. Um, working well with the stamp set. Now the stamp set isn't a coordinating stamp set. But it does, it just works really well with it. So I want to show you two different ideas for cards that I've made using both sets. Now I've used both sets in conjunction with each other just to give you a few ideas. The first card that we're going to make is, it's a 6 by 6 card and I've used the stamp, the Noel stamp, I'll show you that, from the sheet. And I've just stamped it in black ink continuously along the top and the bottom of the card. And I've actually used the card so it's a um, portrait, like a tent fold at the top, rather than using it that way. So I've just stamped the word continuously. And if you look closely, it does look as though it's joined up. And it looks quite cool, I think. Something a bit different. So then what I've done is I've cut a piece of black, normal, just general cardstock into a base for the patterned um, layer that we've got, the mat and layer, the die from the actual set. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the black card layer onto the base of my card between the stamped words like that and then the layer with the fancy cut from the dies I've just got 3d foam on the back of these and I'm simply going to add that to the previous layer like that so we're keeping it quite contemporary at the moment with the black and the white and then I've cut the nativity scene out. I've cut it in black general cardstock and I've added elements from other cardstock that I had. So, in other words, I've cut the base image of the nativity using the main nativity die and then the outer edge. I've cut it in the black and then I've cut it again in gold centura pearl to get the outside and then I've cut it in a pearl centura pearl card and then I've added a little bit of glitter just at the top I've added it all on double sided adhesive so it makes it into a full sheet and then that I think just makes it stand out so well so I can peel off the back of my adhesive layer and add that to the centre of the matten layers 
that we've already cut and if I add it just about there that is our card finished and it's just a perfect card to stand on a windowsill or a mantelpiece and very easy and very quick to make and that's using the nativity and the stamps and I think that just it stands out so well and it it's very traditional for Christmas so the next idea that I'm going to do is on a base card of a 7x5 inch card and I've got a mat of this is ivory cardstock which is the same ivory from the card base and all I've done is I've taken an ink pad and I've run it around the edge of the card now I know you're thinking oh that looks a bit messy well not to worry because the next layer is going to cover the messiness up and so then all we're going to see is the tinted edge now this layer is from a cardstock it's a patterned paper and it's just one of the Christmas um, Dovecraft papers that are available and I've cut it just slightly smaller to make a matte and layer for the card and I've inked it around the edge with a green ink pad and then I've got a slice of paper that I'm going to add straight across the centre of my card like that and try and get it straight and I'm just going to trim off the edges so that it's nice and neat so I'll just give it a trim there we go and at the other side there we go so all we've done is add some cardstock mats and layers now I've die cut using the large fancy mat and layer from the die set from the nativity set and I've cut it out in a gold metallic paper and I'm just going to pop that through the centre of our card like that and then to finish the card what I've used is the stamps and I've stamped onto watercolour card and I've used one of the decorative stamps from the top the bow and the mistletoe and I've stamped it four times around the edge of the card and then I've used one of the sentiments for the centre sending you cheer I've coloured in using watercolour pens the mistletoe and the bows and then I've inked around the edge and then I've just added a little bit of glossy accents to highlight the mistletoe around the edge hope you can see that and it just makes it come to life I've got 3D foam on the back of my layer and I'm simply going to add that through the centre of the card over the top of the fancy layer that we've previously cut and that is the card finished a nice simple quick card using the stamps and using the dies as mats and layers and then our first card used all the dies to create a classic nativity scene I think these are a must-have for your crafty stash quality affordable and very very useful they're not going to sit there you're going to make the most of them you're going to be able to use them for heating bossing for your stamps He's going to use them for stenciling, for your dies. There's a wide range of different items and different techniques that you'd be able to use with these. And I just hope this just shows you two ideas that will maybe inspire you to get them and use them. So there's so many different projects on the Craft Stash website. Please check it out. Please have a look at all the different videos and the ideas that there are available. And I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.